Hello, I'm the Typo T-Rex. I'm you Jester. Are. All right, he's a little off camera. So, um, we work retail, so it's been a while since we've had a chance to sit down and shoot video. So we've yeah. got a lot. Okay, so as you can see, uh, I have a couple of decks. We're, we're not going to worry about the expanded one yet. All right, so we're going to start with the Vika Volt. Uh, how do I do the tile view? Uh, nope, the one with the arrows outside of it. Okay. Yeah. So uh, this deck is not like super duper original. I've seen people do quite a few vid videos on it, but I played it. And I played like three games and I won. And I was like, man, this is fun. And then I lost because uh, I, I I never got to swing <laughs> with the Vika Vault. And I was like, man, this deck is frustrating. <coughs> I hate it. Um, but uh, have you have you played it at all? I have not. I don't okay. have the cards. Okay. I heard Nick won a tournament with it, though. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> again, if you get to go first and you get to swing when you need to, it's it's a phenomenal deck. It's very consistent. Uh, so first off, the the Pokemon line, it's uh, not a lot of variety there. there there's four of the Vika Volt. There's not a lot of variety with support at this yeah. point. And then you play the uh, Sobble and Intelli online. Uh, if you don't know what the Sobble, the whole point of the Sobble line is, you play Sobble, you evolve it into Drizzile. Drizzile is arguably the more important one because i remember in the, our discord somebody's like oh it, it, are people not playing rare candy because he saw the intellions and the drizzles and people are like no 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 no, drizzle is the point <laughs> like the quick shooting intellion is nice yeah but it's it's not the point drizzle is the consistency i don't depending on your deck i don't think it would be a bad idea for like one or two rare candies in this in case you need the quick shootings yeah. for your game plan but like there's no reason not to run for no. drizzle anyways uh i don't I don't think, you know, this deck needs... No, this one definitely yeah, doesn't. Definitely not. You want to just lock yeah, people. Yeah, it, it wants to go as slow as possible. And uh, going as slow as possible, <clears throat> everyone's favorite card. I'm pointing at the screen, so if you guys see me doing that, that's what's going on. I'm used to doing the, the IRL ones where I can point at cards with the camera. Everybody's favorite crushing yeah. hammer. Yeah, but the three cops are crushing hammer. Uh, Jesus. Cr crushing hammer wins games by itself sometimes. I, I'm sure you know. Yeah? yeah. Oh, very yeah. much so. Yeah. Uh, and then the one copy of Energy Search. Uh, I'm going to go and spoil a little bit, but uh, the the deck does not play a lot of energies, so being able to search for that one electric energy yeah, you need. It plays 11. Yeah. Well, basic, basic energies. energies. Yeah. So being able to search for that uh, energy that Vickavolt needs for his first deck is very important. Uh, up next is the Evolution Incense. You have the Evolution Incense solely for the Drizzle and Sobble line. Uh, fan of waves because everything is playing special yeah. energies, and uh, a guaranteed crushing hammer is phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. Uh, lovables, fairly self-explanatory. Searches your sobbles, your drizzles. Yep. Uh, you know your whole consistency engine. Quick balls. Uh, I can't think of a deck that doesn't play at least three copies of quick ball nowadays. No, yeah, because there's there's really not uh, even an expanded. Uh, yeah, mo you still see most quick balls good. Playing quick balls, yeah. Because uh, quick ball for tag teams works like ultra ball with one less discard. Yeah, yeah, it's phenomenal. Uh, and then scoop up net. There's only one copy of scoop up net. Uh, plain sometimes it's dead, so you don't really want to go above two. But when you get the the super silly plays with the scoop up net, like going all right, sobble, evolve into drizzle, search for something, scoop up net it, evolve your other sobble for another drizzle we'll and get again. something. Yeah, yeah, it's it's phenomenal, and that's the the reason it's in there. Also, there's not a lot of Switch cards, as you can see, there's only one switch card. Oh, you know what? That makes sense. I have the mouse. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah, there's only one switch card. So sometimes these get stuck in the active, so the scoop up net is always nice. It gets it out of the active, and then it lets you play everything again, which yeah. is phenomenal. Um, the couple games I did play, I, I did find myself wanting another copy of Switch every now and then, because uh, he's got, what, three retreat costs, and if someone bosses up one that's not set up, he's just going to sit there and die. Um, let's see, Tool Scraper, Tool Scraper, it's important, uh, because it gets rid of, what, Cape of Toughness? Yeah, Scraper's yeah. so important right yeah. now. And then Air Balloon, because this one is kind of a stall deck, uh, because it, it does play Galar Mine, so being able to get rid of the Air Balloon and make the Galar Mine, uh, more relevant, very important. Yeah. Um, question, because I don't, I see the capes. Uh, yes. no Tool Jammer? Uh, no, no, no Tool Jammer, um. So this is just a deck list that I, I grabbed um, online. I haven't really played with it too much and made it my own. Um, it is very much a stall deck. So I could see Tool Jammer being very relevant. But Probably I think my, my yeah. second favorite card in my Weezing deck. Yeah. Uh, generally, though, you do kind of want the Cape of Toughness because Vika Volt, it's not super strong and it doesn't do a lot of damage. <clears throat> um, so there are some games it's like, all right, well, yeah, you stopped me from playing my items, but I managed to get set up enough in my first turn that... 
if you swing. Yeah, I can just start swinging, and eventually I will kill your Vika Volt. Um, before, like this version, and before a lot of the old stuff rotated out, there was a Vika Volt deck that was running around with like um, the Thunderous Mountain, where it reduced your attack cost by one. So you could swing for one energy with the Vika Volt, and it was great. But when you're playing against something like ADP, it's like, all right. Would you go second at that point? Yeah. Yeah, you would go second with that one. <laughs> Silly. But, you know, with a, with a Zacian, you'd be like, all right, well, I, I managed to, to hit as many energies as I needed, so I can just one-shot you back. So that's why the Cape of Toughness is actually very relevant. Um, but let's see, where were we? Uh, Scraper, Gallon Ride, Path to the Peak. Path to the Peak is just good. Yeah. Um, Stop Genesect. Yeah. Uh, especially moving forward, because Genesect and the Mew deck is going to be very important. Um, and Path to the Peak it just, just wins games by itself sometimes. Yeah. And, and the game is just not relevant. You only play one anyway, so it's not that big a deal. But when you need it, you need it bad. Yeah. yeah. Um, three copies of Boss. So Boss in this deck functions the way that you play Boss. <laughs> I don't Boss things out to kill them. I Boss things out to get them stuck. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And uh, that was one of the things I was struggling with when I was playing this deck. And I was like, no, I, I want to be aggressive. I want to hit things. No. Uh, this is definitely not my style of deck. But, uh, again, when it works, it, it just works so well. Uh, three copies of Marnie. You know, fa fairly self-explanatory. It's Marnie. Yeah, you got to draw cards. Yeah. Also, um, Marnie, I feel like three copies of Marnie versus, you know, maxing out on the research matters because, again, it's Marnie. And you can disrupt your opponent's yeah. hand. Yeah. And I'd argue in this deck, if you did go up to four on one of them, you'd probably want to go up to four Marnies first, yeah. just for more disruption. Yeah. Um, three copies of research. It's research. Uh, y you need to dig. And because, you know, you play so many evolution lines and so many, like, items, you can run through your entire hand pretty fast. Yeah. So being able to replenish that is very Low important. Low supporter count, for sure. Yeah. Especially when you're playing kind of a more stall deck, being able to re refresh your hand is super-duper important. Uh, Raihan. Just the one copy of Raihan. Um, this is a deck that relies on a two-prize attacker, so you're not going to get to be able to play too many. Uh, and it is only two energies to attack with him. So being able to set one up in one turn uh, and keep your, your stun lock going yeah. is super duper Oh, important. especially if you get a lightning in the discard, because you could Raihan on that and then like search for a speed energy to still draw cards that turn anyways. Oh, that's busted. I didn't even think about yeah. that. Yeah. Raihan, dude, Raihan is so good. It is. Yeah, like obviously he's better in like single, single prize your decks. Oh, yeah, where you could play yeah. four of them in a game. Yeah. But uh, in, in the the V decks, uh, the two prizers, he's still not bad. Uh, there's three copies of Cape Toughness. Uh, because, again, Vika Volt is kind of weak. He dies to a lot of attacks pretty yeah. early on. To be fair, he's yeah. a bigger V. Yeah, he's a bigger V. he's still a V. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, the Cape of Toughness is, is very important, because I think, like, the Mew deck, the, uh, the Mew Genesec. Mew 210. Yeah, yeah, it does 210. So he just dies outright to that without any boost or anything. Uh, capture energies. Capture energies are super-duper important, because it sets up... <laughs> you know, your whole support line. And again, Vika Volt only takes two energies, so that one colorless energy can be that capture energy. Uh, and then the speed energies. I love speed energy so much. Draw cards. Yeah, <laughs> like, th th this says energy on it. You play it like an energy, but this is a, just a, an extra supporter that says draw two cards. Yeah. Yeah, and that's why I love speed energy. Uh, man, when they first made that, when I was playing Peak Rum, I was like, oh, oh yes. Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> And then, of course, the uh, the three copies of the basic lightning energy because uh, you still need energies and yeah. being able to search for them without having to play Raihan is uh, is good. Um, but I haven't played the deck enough to know like winning and losing matchups. Uh, obviously, this is a more control deck, uh, so anything that relies very heavily on items because you know Vika Volt does lock that, you're gonna have a great time. This deck probably loses to Single Strike hard because Single yeah. Strike yeah. by as long as they get Houndoom, they bypass Paralyzing Bolt for energies. Yeah. Like they can just also take them out of the deck. You know that that fighting weakness. Yeah. Yeah. So they don't they don't have oh, to they don't need, single strike Urshfu doesn't even have to do G Max one blow. It can just beat down for knockout as yeah. long as it has one single strike energy. Yeah. So that that would definitely be a very unfortunate matchup. I imagine Rapid Strike wouldn't be too good of a matchup for this either. Uh because once you evolve and then just switch and mm. you get hit by the um, what is it, the not the Gale Thrust? Yeah, the Gale Thrust, you're like well, he's dead. <laughs> Guess there's nothing I can do and then it, it does a it wipes out your uh your uh, support Pokemon. And they can also search for their energy with an ability. Yeah, yeah, that's really good too. So, um, Paw Patrol, 
I feel like Paw Patrol is kind of a toss-up. I think whoever wins. The, the fact that you only have one yeah. path means Paw Patrol has a little bit easier of a yeah. time playing against you. Yeah. Uh, Galar Mine does make playing Paw Patrol against this a little difficult because yeah. if I don't have my switches... Or Bird Keepers. Or Bird Keepers, which I don't play Bird Keepers in my version. So okay. we, we rely on the, the Air Balloon to be able to switch back into the... Yeah. So that can be kind of a rough matchup, but if Paw Patrol goes first and hits their bird setup, keep, Bird Keeper, good um, card, Paw yeah. Patrol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, draw cards and switch. Yeah. So I, I feel like that matchup is very much just whoever goes first. Uh, Sylveon Box is just a, another version of Rapid Strike. Um, <laughs> I'm just taking the decks that we have and we play. I feel like uh, the um, your Galar Weezing deck. I it'd be. It'd be interesting. Yeah, because they're both pretty slow decks. It depends on how yeah. my first turn goes, honestly. Because yeah. like, it's going to keep me from yeah. playing. Uh, Ray is going to lose to this. <laughs> <laughs> Shocker. Because <laughs> Ray loses to everything. That being said, the bolt the, deck. Yep, the, yeah, there fourth. is a new version of Ray that we saw, which means oh, I, I need to shoot my old version of Ray and then play test the other one that I haven't yeah. gotten around to it yet. It finished fourth. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually really good. I was amazed. Uh, yeah. Like, I never thought we would see a functioning version of Ray until they uh, were we in got all first eight rounds in. Wow, that yeah. is phenomenal. I'm really gonna have to uh, play test that deck. Anyway, um, there's lots of good matchups for this deck. I don't think there are too many bad matchups as long as you hit yeah. what you need because everything relies on items. Granted, like, I don't know um, if there's any like really strongly winning matchups for yeah. this deck. More so, it's just like I'm gonna go like fifty fifty with everything. Yeah. And I mean that's, that that goes a long way. Yeah. Being able to do something like that. But uh, that is it for this video. Uh, we've got a bunch more. We, I don't even know how many we're gonna get through today because you yeah, gotta go to work. Because I got work this. in an yeah. hour. But uh, uh, that's it for this video. I've been Typo Turex. And I'm Jester. You've been watching Typo House Games here on YouTube. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, everyone.